couple. And I'm so thankful that they are with us today. And uh, Reverend Vera Worthy is going to be the preacher, but we have presiding elder Richard Worthy, who is an anointed preacher in his own right, and a mighty, mighty man of God. And I'm going to ask him to come and introduce our preacher. God is great and greatly to be praised. First let me say that we give all honor, glory, and praise to God. And we're extremely happy to be with you this morning in this worship experience. To your pastor, Reverend J. Gordon Axel, who we think highly of, to his wife, to the clergy, and to all that assembled here. First let me say happy Mother's Day to all the, the mothers in the house. And we're here to quickly uh, present and introduce the preacher um, whom we have known for about 24 years. And for the last 19 years, God has allowed us to walk together as one. Uh, we have together, we have seven children, a whole lot of grandchildren. <laughs> And a whole lot of great grandchildren. But my wife loves the Lord, she loves her husband, and she loves people. And for that we say thank you. Uh, when we came in and uh, preparing to process in, she said she felt nervous. I said, yes, you feel nervous, but the, the Spirit of the Lord is in this place. Felt it from the time we came in, not only this time, but on previous occasions when we've been so blessed to come into this house. But this is the first time that we were able to worship with you in a, a worship experience. So we ask that you pray for the preacher, pray that she will sit down and allow God to stand up, which we know that she will. Uh, because if you have come to this place to leave better than when you came in, you're in the right place. But if you come to have yokes broken, and if you come to have chains falling off you, we believe that you're in the right place. Amen? And because you're in the right place, we believe that God has sent the right preacher for this morning. So we know that she's led by the Spirit, and she's going to let God have a way, have his way. So we just ask that you say amen, say hallelujah, praise God anyhow. Because it's not about the preacher, but it's about the God that's on the inside. Amen? And she's going to stand up and let God have his way. And as God moves throughout the congregation, we ask that you pray that, he, that, pray that God will prop her up on every lady's side, put words in her mouth, that somebody might be convicted this morning. So we're going to ask that you say amen with the preacher and that you help her along the way uh, as my wife comes. And declare, thus saith the Lord. Amen. 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 I don't care what the day has been. I don't care what comes or what goes. I know that my God's going to keep me, and I know He's going to let me rise up and get you know. Amen. Oh. 
of my life. And Revelation 8, word that you will be God has been good to us. Amen. We have traveled this road and ministry together. I just praise God and thank God for a man who listens to the Lord, a man who is led by the Lord. Amen. Amen. I tried to do it myself and it just didn't work. Amen. Amen. But when I let the Lord do it, and you gotta let the Lord do it, and it will work. Amen. Let us pray. Amen. Amen. In St. 
Matthew, the 15th chapter, beginning with verse 21. Turn to your neighbor and say, The crumb blessing of a desperate housewife. <laughs> amen, amen. Jesus had ended his teaching to the disciples, and then he departed into the coast of Tyre of Sidon. Mark says that he entered into a house and would have no man to know it. But how could you keep good news about Jesus hidden? The Bible says that a woman of Canaan, a Greek, a Syrophoenician, from the same coast appeared. Historically, it was out of order for a woman to be in the presence of the men. Now, what would she make her believe that she could come in and sit amongst or even talk amongst a group of men. What would make a Canaanite woman without a religious tradition coming from a background of idolatry and debauchery would walk into a room where she was not wanted. She was not steeped in the tradition of Judaism, but she walked into the presence of rabbis and renowned religious men my brothers and my sisters, you have not seen bigotry mm, and indifference or intolerance until you see it from religious folks. And all in the name of Jesus. It was as if she had broken all the rules. I must say that it had took a great deal of courage to walk into an atmosphere of animosity. This woman walked into the house with her head held high, her back straight, her face set like a flint, knowing that they probably hoped she would trip and fall. But her mission was too important, so she had to go in hand. The Bible says not only was she a Canaanite woman, but she was a mom. Perhaps had she not been a mother, she would have stayed in her place. Perhaps if she had not been a mother, she would have honored the tradition of her time. Understand this mother was in a desperate situation, and there was no time for foolishness. There was no time for long-winded $50 prayers. He was dealing with a desperate situation, which called for some desperate measures. She simply said, oh Lord, thou son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. Yeah, yeah. Jesus didn't answer her a word. The one of the disciples spoke up and said, well, send her away because she cried after us. But I didn't read in either Mark or Matthew where she called out of one of their names. <laughs> Amen. It was all about Jesus. It was not about them. This demon had her daughter in a chokehold, and she needed some relief. Amen? Amen? I know that through my own experience, that if you bother a mother's child, she will break all the rules to get to you. A four-foot mama will run you over with a neck truck. Thank <laughs> you. 
out there. And she would take up. I wouldn't do it today. But Grandmama used to take the room. And she would snap a piece of that room on and stick it down in that cake to make sure that the cake was
the claim was. You leave your daddy to see what he is. Well. And in one hour. <laughs> you can come back and get your business. Go shopping. Play with the children. Go do what you gotta do. You come back, you wanna have your film. Well, this mother came to Jesus with her negatives. Well, I'm going to sell them anyway. I said, fine. 
Let the door hit you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 